What's going on guys? It is Caleb and today I'm gonna can't I'm so excited I finally get to announce the uh, switch statements and get to show you guys all about them and how lovely and phenomenal these things are. Uh, last video we got a little preview of a switch statement. Hopefully I didn't confuse you guys too much. I know it was a lot to uh, grasp at first. But um, let's go ahead and head over to Code Academy. If you're not already in full screen, uh, make sure to go ahead and go in the full screen. So here we are introducing the switch statements, and let's go ahead and get started. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and reset my code. Um, adding to an existing switch. The switch statement is put together like this: switch, some expression, open print, uh, open bracket, case, option one and then do something. Now remember the break because you don't wanna um, you essentially what you're doing you're breaking out of the loop or it's not necessarily a loop but you're just breaking out to go down to the default code and you're pretty much skipping all the code af underneath it or really after it. So don't forget the break. Um, then you have another case an option two and remember you can have as many cases as you want just make sure the break each time and then case again and option three do a third thing break and finally don't forget to have a default just in case any of your cases don't get ran or run um, you can always fall back on that default to do another thing so javascript will try to match the expression between the switch parentheses to each case it will run the code below each case if it finds a match and will execute the default code if the match is not found. So our instructions are our switch statement needs a case for yellow. Add it and make it into or add it and make it to log a string of your choice to the console. It should be different from the default string. Don't forget to end your case with a break statement. Otherwise, it will go on and execute the code for the default too. We don't want that. So right here you can see they made a little comment on line 10 and they gave us a space right here on um, line 11. So they go ahead and create a case. All we have to do is just say case and after what follows our case is whatever we want our switch to be equal to. So in this case I'm going to do the little print um, quotation mark and I'm going to go ahead and say yellow. Now make sure to put a colon and not a semicolon after this. And I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and as you can see it indented us. And it has a little thing as you can see we need a break. So um, first whatever um, after our colon we put whatever commands or um, any pr uh, I don't know how to really explain this. Uh, more not so advancedly like um any code that we want the want it to run after if it do, if our case does equal yellow in other words I guess would be an easy way to say this so we're gonna console dot log in other words and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and say something like oh yellow looks like p <laughs> so make sure to add a semicolon after the console dot log because that is a statement. Now we get to add our break, and hopefully that little warning sign goes away, in which it does. So let's go ahead and save and submit the code. And as you can see, it's going to ask us for our favorite color. And if we go ahead and put yellow, uh, let's go ahead and put yellow. And we're going to say yellow looks like P. <laughs> so we got it correct. Let's start the next lesson. And let's go ahead and reset the code again. So practice with the switch. Now that you've added a case to an existing switch, let's practice adding a default block. So the instructions are add the default block at the bottom of the switch statement, then run the code a few times with the different inputs. Switch is super useful. So to add a default um, block, all we have to say is default, then the little semicolon and nothing has to follow default as you see before with our cases we'd follow whatever we want it to our switch to equal to default is just going to be like hey if it doesn't equal any of the cases just run me instead man and it's going to run the default no matter what now what we're going to say is uh, whatever we want the default to be so um, it's asking us our favorite candy and uh, 
as you can see, we have different kinds of candy here. And um, our default can be something like console.log. And what we're going to say is something like uh, yummy or tasty. I, I, I like yummy. And make sure to add a semicolon after the console.log because that is a statement. And now, no break is needed because it is the default. It's the very last thing. So you're not trying to break out of anything. So um, no breaks are needed here. So we go ahead and save and submit. Uh, if we were just to say something like, um, something that's not a case so we get to see our default. So um, our favorite candy could be uh, lollipop. Or I put lollipo, but you got it. As you can see, we have the yummy in our console. So we got it correct. Let's go ahead and go to our next lesson. And uh, reset our code once again. Now, you know what they say, practice makes perfect. We've given you the simple or the empty skeleton of a switch statement. Complete the existing case and then add at least one additional case and a default behavior with whatever console.log calls you like. So um, as you can see here, we have the switch and the answer. And the answer is just grabbing a prompt. And it's pretty much asking us to add your question here. So um, really, this can be endless amounts of cases if we really think about it. But um, it wants us to add another case and to add a default, also fixing the first case. So um, the first case is just blank. So uh, a, f a question we can be like, uh, we can be like, uh, say something like, uh, favorite, stupid A, favorite color, question mark. And that would be a question that they would put into the prompt. And down here, if we, once again, we're gonna make a new case. And we could say something like uh, favorite food. And I'm shorting these um, questions down to just two words. Make sure to add a colon after our case. And then console.log. Oh, that's something we need to do up top. We can fix that in a second. Console.log. Um, favorite food be like, we say something like, oh, mine too. Because that could be your favorite food too. And then adding a break after. Now let's go back up to the first case that we made and go into the console.log and uh, let's finish it out. Favorite color and say something like, oh, I hate that color. Now we come after our second case and we're going to add a default. And to do this, you just say default, uh, F A U L T, default, colon, uh, console dot log and we can say something like a uh, awesome question uh, if I could type there we go awesome question so what we're doing here is um, we're asking the user for, for them to type in a question and if they type in something or a question that says favorite color we're gonna say oh I hate that color which really doesn't make sense but um, now oh well you could have said something like, oh, I love that question. And then if they say something like, oh, favorite food, and you can be like, oh, mine too, which well, I just realized these, these answers really don't make n no sense. <laughs> but let's go ahead and save and submit and continue. So um, if we were to say something uh, here, if we were to type our question, uh, favorite color, and hit enter, and we're going to get, I hate that color. <laughs> but as you can see, we got it correct. So um, let's go ahead and go on to the next lesson. So now, great work. Now it's time to put a switch statement together all on your lonesome self. So, the instructions are to create your own switch statement in the editor. It can do anything you like. Make sure to include at least three cases and a default case. Or, a, it's not really a case, it's just a default. But So, write our own code below. So, first things first, let's go ahead and get the uh, input of the user by creating a new variable and we could just say um, something like input uh, or let's, let's say answer because input can get tricky so um, var answer equals prompt because we're going to be prompting the user and 
we could say something like, um, how do you, you feel? And I'm going to put a comma, and I'm going to create another one, and this is going to be the default text that loads up, and, um, it's going to be in the box, and I'm going to say something like, oh, sad, uh, mad, or, uh, good. There we go. That sounds pretty good. And I'm going to put a question mark, semicolon, because we are finishing off our statement. Now we're, it's time to add our switch. So switch, and we're calling our switch on our answer. So whatever our answer may be, may it can may it can vary. In other words, and let's add some space in here. Now we can add a case, and within this case, I'm going to set it to these three different options: either sad, mad, or good. So the first one's going to be sad. Remember to add your colon, and then console.log. So if they were to put sad into the uh. I don't know why we're getting that. Just ignore the uh, little things on the left. Okay, so anyways, um, if they were to put sad into this the prompt, we're going to be something like, say something like, um, aw, I'm sorry. Uh, there we go. Give them a little bit of affection. And then we can break out. Now we can add another case and say something like um, mad. So we're calling this on mad. Add your colon, console.log. And we could say something like, oh, well, if they put mad into the prompt, we could say something like, um, what's wrong? And add a semicolon and then break out. And another case. And if they're good, we can say something like, um, oh, well, that's awesome, you know, because it's awesome to be good. So, go ahead and add that. Add our break. And finally, we need to make sure to have a default. And um, the default can be whatever you want to say. So, um, console.log um, um, say something like good for you so <laughs> essentially what we're doing here we're asking them how do they feel and depending on whether or not if they say oh well I feel sad we're gonna say like oh I'm sorry and then if they say that they're mad we're gonna be like oh what's wrong if they say they're good we're gonna say that's awesome and if they say something anything or other than um, sad, mad, and good. Um, we're gonna, so for example, they said that they were happy. It will say good for you. So if we go ahead and submit our code, and as you can see here, it says, how do you feel? And then the default text is sad, mad, or good. And what we're gonna say, we can say something like happy. And we're gonna get good for you, cause you know, it's good to be happy. So let's move on to the next mid lesson breather and reset our code. Well done. Even though we've been focusing on switch, we've covered a lot so far. You've reviewed if, else if, and else. We've also reviewed for and while loops. Learned about switch statement and how to use it instead of multiple if, else statements. We've also covered the switch syntax and you've also written your own switch statements. So when you're ready, click run to move on to the last section of this lesson. Logical operators like and, or, and not, and which these come in very handy, and you'll see how they come in handy later on. So guys, if this helped you guys out, make sure to leave a like rating. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Um, don't forget to subscribe, guys, also for future detail, or not detail, but videos. Yeah, future videos, there we go. Alright guys, don't forget to uh, hit save and submit. Congratulations, you finished this project. Alright guys, till next time, have a good night.